everybody. I'm Paula McKinney. I'm Haley Bolton. And we are here to talk with you about Don't Mess With Texas, especially in the summer. We are talking specifically about Dallas, and lots of stuff can go wrong in Dallas during the hot summer months. <laughs> <laughs> so our hypothesis really started off as, you know, the, the, the crime rates, everything just seems to really spike in the summer. So we wanted to see if there was truly any connection between the hot and humid months up in Dallas and crime rates and some of the silly things that seem to happen in the summer. And there is. <laughs> so people in Dallas are really messy in the summer. So litter, um, they've got garbage violations, um, illegal littering, what was some of the other, bulk, yeah, just bulk, bulk dump. trash, dumping. And so you can see that these are the summer months, so here from June through through September that really reports and violations go up a lot. And so we just kind of did a little breakdown of just the most common complaints during the summer months. Uh, the CCS was just for their common, or the code compliance system. But then from there, you know, there's all the different stuff that would come through from alley disturbances, obstruction, bulky, <coughs> you know, bulky trash, all kinds of, of, of violations being reported in the summer. Messiness. Messiness. People get loud in Dallas in the summer too. It's hot, they're loud, so there's a lot of noise pollution going on. So we can see a big spike right up here in August. Lots of violations on noise pollution. And again, just even if you follow just the arrest trends in general, uh, you'll see now, granted it stayed relatively high this particular year, I believe this was 2014 as well, but um, a lot of the it really spiked at the beginning of summer and then kind of never let up for the rest of the year. So it's kicked off a nasty trend. Yeah. You know, Texans love their guns. So officer-involved shootings also went up in the summer. Um, so we have a little, a little big spike right there in August. Not sure what exactly happened there, but... To notice both June and August were the two highest months of the year of officer-involved shootings. July yeah. took a little break, but uh, yeah. went right back to it in August. A little break. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Yes. See, direct quote. <laughs> so we conclude in Dallas that the summer months show spikes in lots of areas of violations. Um, our data is very consistent on this. And here's some of our speculation. So we decided, well, you know, why might this be? So of course we did, you know, speculate a bit. So maybe it's the police a little more cranky, and so they're a little more likely to write those violations and, and follow up on those violations because they're wearing those ugly nice uniforms that get really hot. That could be one. People could be more cranky because they're hot and, and you know miserable too. So maybe they're more likely to call on the neighbor, a little more cranky towards the neighbors, or maybe they're just not thinking straight themselves because of a little, you know a little heat stroke, and they're the ones out there doing the stupid things. And then, of course, as teachers, we might also throw out the prospect that lots of teenagers are out of school, and they might be the ones out there doing a lot of these stupid things as well. They're up to no good. Either way, <laughs> summer makes people in Dallas do really stupid things. Yes. So here's our um, source. We've got this from DallasOpenData.com. There are several different data sets that we use within this. Yeah. Don't mess with text. Oh. Are your data quant quant quantitative? Quantitative? Or, or, or yeah, is it quantitative? How so? Like eh? scientific? Yes. Data. It was just Research. based on the number of reports housed housed by Dallas Open Data. So how oh. however was filed when the complaints okay. were filed. And you said in so your conclusion that you suspect because of this and because of that. Did you actually research and find data that we were says being, we were being silly at that point? But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then there was a true spike in the number of across the board. No matter which statistic we started playing with, which data set we downloaded, they always seemed to have the spikes in the summer months. So that was just kind of an interesting trend as we were just messing around with data, and that's what really got us on this. Was more of looking through. Oh wow, everything spiked in the summer. So as teachers were like, oh those silly kids. But consistently across whichever one we looked at, it seemed to spike in the summer, and that's so we just kind of turned it into, in general, things spiking in the summer. But yes, we, we cannot prove why. There were spikes in spring break and fall day as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as well. Might lend more to one particular. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that last theory. <laughs>